parasitic infections are very common in tropical countries, including India. However, many times diagnosis is missed because of various reasons. We will be presenting some cases of parasitic infections in the coming weeks. Present case has been taken from the Nongaini Cytology set of Digiscan digital slides. Clinical history. 28 year old young man presented in the lab for FNC of scrotal swelling with complaints of recurrent enlargement of scrotum for six to eight months. Progression of swelling was periodic and at that time whole scrotum was painful. Regression of swelling was spontaneous without any medications. Clinical examination. On examination of genitalia, bilateral testes and epididymii were found to be normal in size and texture. No mass lesion was felt in either of the structures. Scrotal skin was found to be very thick, irregular and knobby. Both lower legs and feet appeared unremarkable. Aspiration was carried out from the subcutaneous area. 3 milliliters of clear fluid was obtained from the hydrocele sac and smears were prepared and stained with gym sustain. Aspirate smear from the hydrocele fluid showed presence of a coiled parasitic structure about 50 micron in size and is microphylaria of Wickeria bancrofti, which we can see here when we move around the smear. Another larger parasite was present nearby, which appeared to be adult filarial worm. Diagnosis Microfilaria in filarial hydrocele or scrotal filariasis. Discussion Scrotal filariasis is also called lymphatic filariasis and genital elephantiasis. Causative parasite is Wuchereria bancroftii, which is a nematode or a round worm and adult worm has predilection for intrascrotal lymphatic vessels. Other less commonly involved nematodes are Brugia malai and Brugia timori. Intermediate host or vector is mostly Culex species of mosquitoes and infrequently Anopheles species. Man is the definitive host. Life cycle of Wuchereria bancroftii. Adult worm resides in lymphatics and lymph nodes for several years. Female worm produces microfilaria which circulate in the blood. Culex or Anopheles mosquito biting the man ingests larvae which develop into infective filariform larvae in one to two weeks. On subsequent bite, infective microfilaria enter man, migrate to lymphatic vessels and develop into adult worms in a year. Pathology of filariasis. Infection is acquired in childhood. Disease manifests in adulthood after several years. Acute filarial Lymphangitis, sometimes accompanied by episodic fever caused by death of adult worm, is the initial symptom in most of the patients. Recurrent episodes of acute lymphangitis and granulomatous reaction cause 
lymphatic obstruction, fibrosis, lymphedema, leading to scrotal edema, scrotal hydrocele, thickened skin, and genital elephantiasis. Sometimes, filarial hydrocele can be very large. Epididymitis, orchitis, funiculitis may develop. Chyluria may develop due to obstruction of retroperitoneal lymphatic channels. Lab diagnosis of filarial hydrocele, presence of microfilaria in hydrocele fluid is confirmatory but is extremely rare. Very few cases, including the present case, have been reported with microfilarial detection in cytological smears. Detection of microfilaria in night sample of blood. Detection of filarial antigen in hydrocele fluid by ELISA or by polymerase chain reaction. Serology for detection of antifilarial antibodies in the blood and hydrocele fluid. Ratio of fluid antibody titer to serum antibody titer should be more than 2. Presence of chyle in hydrocele fluid. Take home message. Careful clinical examination and development of sharp clinical acumen is of paramount importance in FNC. High index of suspicion. Thorough and painstaking search for etiological agent. Use of proper aspiration technique to obtain material free of blood contamination. Development of cytology diagnostic skills. Key to all is hard work. Thank you.